Reverse polarity on an electrical outlet is one of the most common problems that I see come up on a home inspection. And it's one of the most common problems that I see buyers ask sellers to have fixed. And it's one of the easiest fixes you can make. Here's why it matters. A correctly wired outlet should have either a black or a red because that's gonna be your hot depending on your electrical setup. And that should always be going to the brass screw on your outlet. Then you're gonna have a white wire coming out of your wire connection or your Romex or whatever type of wire you have. And that one should go to the silver screw. So here is a correctly wired outlet. See how this is silver and the white wire goes to the silver and see how this one is black and that goes to the brass. And you really can see if you go from side to side, see the brass, see the silver, they're very different. So it's easy to distinguish. Also, if you have a newer outlet where these are distinguished in size, the neutral goes to the larger prong plug. So that's another thing you can look for. Here's why it matters. You complete your circuit by having the hot go in and the neutral go out to, to whatever is connecting it. If you plug something into this outlet, say you plug in a, a lamp, that's gonna be our, our best example. If a lamp is plugged into this outlet and the lamp is turned off, the connection is not complete and there should not be power going through. If you wire this outlet with reverse polarity, meaning you mix up your black and white wires, even when the lamp is off, there is still a current of running power through that current and you might think something is off and it's not because these are in reverse. So they're gonna increase your risk of a shock, of a fire, of a connection because power is running through the outlet when it should not be. But the good news is it's super, super easy to fix. This electrical outlet is wired wrong. It is wired with reverse polarity. This outlet, if someone were to test it or a home inspector were to put a tester in, and I'll put a link for a tester because they're super cheap. I just don't have one at this house right now. This one's wrong because the silver, it's hard to see, this screw is silver and then see how that one's brass. You can tell the difference when you have them side by side. Silver should have white going to it and brass should have black going to it. And then of course your copper just goes down to your green, that's your ground. This outlet, if you put a tester in here, has reverse polarity. So to fix it, literally all you have to do is remove this guy, remove this guy and switch the sides there on. That's it, so let's do it real quick. So you're just gonna take your screwdriver and loosen it. If you have an outlet, there's also a type where the wires just push straight into the back. You can get a really skinny flat head screwdriver, like one of the mini size ones, and you push it into the bracket in the, si the back to the side of where it pushes in. You push that in, it will release it so you can pull the wire out. So we're gonna take these out and switch them. So now I've loosened my screw. I'm just gonna finagle that off of there. So my black one's off, my white one's off. You can leave your ground because that's fine. So now to properly do this, I'm going to connect the black with the brass screw. I'm gonna connect the white onto the silver screw. Now, if I put a tester in, you have the black connected to the brass, you have the white or your neutral connected to the silver, you have your copper connected to the green, which is your ground, and also note the white that's the larger side of the outlet. This now is corrected. That's all it takes to reverse, reverse polarity.